Hey Milan, are you looking for a faster and easy way to interact with your MongoDB data directly from your ID? Well, then you found it. Today we are diving into a powerful combination of MongoDB, the super smart cookstore ID, and the secret sauce, the MongoDB MCP server. You might be wondering what exactly are those tools? Well, Cursor is AI first code editor designed to help you write, edit, and understand your code faster. And the MongoDB MCP server is a fantastic tool that acts as a bridge and allows AI model like the one inside Cursor to secure a chat with your MongoDB databases. The beauty of this integration is that it brings your database directly into your coding environment. It's a tool game changer for getting stuff done faster. Our goal is to show you how easy it is to set up this integration and then demonstrate how you can leverage Cursor AI to interact with your database for building real-world applications. And by the way, the repository with MCP server and all necessary configuration steps you can find in the description of the video. There are a few cool ways to get the MCP server up and running. You can use MongoDB connection stream or even run a Docker container. But for this video, we are going to use MongoDB Atlas API credentials. First things first, you need to download and install Cursor. You can do it from the official site. It's very easy. I already installed it so I can open the Cursor application, select the project which I would like to work with and move on configuring our MCP server. Cursor application acting as an MCP client, so it requires a configuration file to connect and communicate with the MongoDB MCP server. Before we configure this file, we need to get our Atlas API credentials. It will allow the MCP server to securely authenticate with MongoDB Atlas project. I will show you how to create organization level service account, but you can do similar steps for the project level service account if you have limitations with your access to MongoDB Atlas. So go to MongoDB Atlas project. On the left menu, select Access Manager. Click on Add New in top right corner and select Service Account. Fill in the required fields. Give account a suitable role like um, organization owner and click Create. As a next step, make sure to save the client ID and client secret securely. You won't be able to retrieve the client secrets again, so it's very important to remember. Finally, click Add Access List Entry and use Current IP Address button to add your current IP to allow access. Okay, we have a keys now, let's configure Cursor. In Cursor, use the magic combo, command shift P to open the command palette, then type and select Cursor settings, select MCP, and you will see MCP settings. Click add new global MCP server, and this will open for your MCP JSON file. Inside this MCP JSON file, we are going to update our Mongo MCP server configuration to use the Atlas API credentials. Uh, here you can see snippet which you can use, and you will find it also in the description of the video. You need just to replace your Atlas service account client ID and your Atlas service account client secret with the credentials which we just obtained from Atlas. Once you save the MCP JSON file, restart Cursor to apply the new configuration. After restarting, just go back to Settings and select MCP, and you should see your MongoDB MCP server listed there. Now for the exciting part. Let's see our setup in action. So let's imagine that we are building a movie application and we want to quickly explore our movie data in MongoDB Atlas. For this video, I created the onboarding project and cluster zero. Let's open chat interface. You can access it by pressing command L. I will type just a simple question. Find five movies released in 2020. You see cursor making all actions. See how effortlessly cursor understand our natural language query 
and fetch exactly what we need. And it's asking to us to confirm every action which he is going to do, which is very comfortable. Now let's challenge Cursor with something more complicated. So let's prompt show me the short movies which at least one awards win and with rating more than eight and group them by year. Voila, Cursor successfully builds and executes the aggregation pipeline to identify and analyze specific data. Give it just a second and you will see all information about our movies. The same way you can do a lot of other operations to manipulate with data in MongoDB collections. You can, for example, add new document. So you can write add new movie to the movie collection, for example. And let's check now it's executing. After it's executed, just a minute, let's wait. Uh, Cursor isn't just a creating existing data or creating new data. Also, it can help us manage our MongoDB Atlas clusters and projects. So let's try something bold. Let's create, create a new Atlas project called test project. Here we see that Cursor executing actions. It gets an, uh, the organization ID and it creates a new project. How cool is that? Now let's create a new cluster in our project. Let's prompt create a new M0 sandboxed cluster named my new awesome cluster in AWS US East. Okay, it's executing. And there you have it. So Cursor fetches all details about our newly created cluster, including its status, connection string, and even more. How cool is it? Uh, now we can go to Atlas and just check if our cluster was created and it it running now. Let's go to project and check. Yes, our new project and our new cluster running. Everything fine. But now let's switch gear to coding. What if we want, for example, in our application to add a new movie to a collection? Instead of manually writing the code for this, let's just ask Cursor to do it for us. I can prompt create a script to insert a movie titled The AI Adventure with the release year of 2024 into the movie's collection. It will take a little bit more time. As you see, Cursor making some calls, calling MongoDB tools. Now it's generating not just file. Yep. And here we go. You can see here we created new, uh, Cursor generated a new complete Node.js code snippet and it's ready for us to copy and paste it into our application. This is just a massive time saver. And there you have it. A quick and effective way to integrate your MongoDB database with Cursor via MongoDB MCP server. This powerful combination supercharges your development process with AI-driven insights. Give it a try and see how it transforms your MongoDB interactions. In the video description, you can find some more information. Happy coding!